Hi again, this is John. Uh, this video is about roster management inside your Matchmaker account. Um, you should have already seen the video on entering your roster for the first time. Now I'm just going to discuss some ways that you can manage your roster, whether you're sending out lineups or uh, uh, working with setting weight classes, that kind of stuff. Um, so what you want to do is is log in and you'll be on your dashboard here. Uh, go to the roster tab over here on the left and click current wrestlers. So here are or here's a list of all the wrestlers that are on the sample team. Um, and let's say I'm getting ready to uh, you know I have a meet coming up. I want to kind of get my lineup put together. Um, there are several ways you can do this, but bottom line is what you want to do is you want to set the status of each wrestler whether it's A squad, B squad, C squad, or inactive, or if they're an alumnus and you want them put on the former wrestlers list, you would change this to former. Um, their grade can be changed, and then their weight class would probably be important too. Uh, when you send out lineups and stuff, and Matchmaker can do all that for you. That's in a separate video, but literally, if you want to, you can set the weight class of each kid, which squad he's on, and then up here at the top, where it says email my roster. You can email your roster to uh, anyone with an email address that you want. Uh, it's a real nice uh, little addition to the Matchmaker uh, website here. So let's say I'm going to get my roster kind of worked out here. I've put all of my former wrestlers who have graduated on this page. Uh, now I have just my current wrestlers left uh, to work with here. Um, one way that uh, is kind of nice to organize things, right now the, the table is set up uh, first sorted by the squad they're on, then by their last name, and then by their first name. But if you click the heading on each of these columns in the table, it'll sort the table according to whatever you want. So if I want the all the wrestlers sorted by weight class, I just click on the weight column heading here, and now everybody's sorted according to weight class. That's going to be really nice for working uh, with setting my lineup and that kind of stuff. So right now I've got Adam at 106, Joe at 112, and notice here at 120 I actually have two wrestlers, uh, James and Andrew, um, but they're both in different squads. So here's my varsity or A squad kid. Uh, Andrew Perry would be my B squad kid. 126 I have the same thing, um, but let's say that uh, um, Instead, I, I don't want to wrestle anybody on the varsity or the A squad because they're not quite ready yet. I can actually change Edward here to B squad and click. Uh, where's the uh, Edward? Let me sort by weight class here again. And let's say Ed Melmac should be our C squad wrestler because Edward beat him in a wrestle off or something like that. So I'll set him to C squad. And again, you might have to scroll the table a little bit like this because the table is actually too wide for most screens when you're editing the information here. So now I've got two kids, one B squad, one C squad, 138 Tim. Uh, let's say I made a mistake last time. He shouldn't be C squad. He should be A squad. And what I would do is just go through my list and keep managing these kids. Uh, Let's say, for some reason, uh, Oscar here got hurt in practice and actually won't be wrestling in the meet. What I would do is, is hit the edit button here and change Oscar to inactive. And so now that will re remove him from my uh, A-Squad roster. And so when I send out my lineup, Oscar will still be listed, but he'll be listed as inactive so that people won't think that he's actually wrestling. So that's uh, kind of how to deal with roster management inside Matchmaker. Uh, you might want to look at the, uh, the other video either right before or right after this in the list on how to email your lineup or your roster to somebody else. Um, but thank you and have a great day.